I have to mention that largest privilege in our world, the most powerful privilege in our world, and the one that is spoken of least of all, is the privilege of knowing what it means to be loved. And this comes back to conditioning and experiences, right? We take it for granted that everyone has someone to nurture them, to teach them right from wrong, to love them, to make them feel secure and safe. But that's not true at all. The majority of people have never known that. And it's important to own that privilege, if none others, because it's easier to look at someone and say, you should know better, do better. But what if they were never shown how to grow up in a life where you never feel safe or secure, you never felt like you were part of the collective, then how can you actually care for the collective if you never felt like you were part? You know, a privilege is an advantage. And sometimes we get so caught up in the ways in which we are not privileged and not advantaged that we forget to look at the areas in our life in which we are privileged. And once we can own, that comes with responsibility. 